world. My name is Victoria Janashvili and I'm the photographer who shot Katya Zharkova for Plus Model magazine. We gathered here today to respond to so many quotes and to so many posts and to so many questions. We feel it's important that we give our own take and we explain why we did what we did and what is the thought behind this. I would like to talk a little bit about the amazing crew behind this shoot. First of all, of course, it's Katya who had the guts to take her clothes off and showcase her body in front of so many people and be proud of it. Secondly, I would love to thank Julia Dalton Brush who did the most amazing makeup for this shoot. I would love to thank Jen Paelmo who did hair and such an amazing job on hair. And I would love to thank Jackie J who styled the shoot and brought in the most amazing jewelry and the most amazing shoes for Katya. And of course, I would love to thank Tulin and Madeline from Plus Model Mag for helping this all happen and for being brave enough to feature those images in their magazine. Thank you all guys so very much. Well, a lot of people asked why the models were naked and if that was really necessary. Well, I think it really was necessary because the shoot and the subject is about buddies and it's about buddy shapes and it's about the beauty of those buddies. And first of all, it was very important that the image is loving, is caring, that there isn't any aggression in it. And that was the message behind the dance pose. And we tried to have them really communicate with each other in a very tender and sweet way. I think to show what a real woman is versus what um, everyone is trying to make a woman be are two extremely different um, ends. And I think it's really important. Something is shoved down your throat so much that it becomes very difficult to see outside of the box um, and if you're shown other images more then that will really become something that is acceptable and okay which it's the majority of women in the world it should be acceptable it should be more than acceptable so I think that if teenagers can see it and appreciate it then it then that's what needs to really happen. It's tough as, as a mom and being a makeup artist and being in the fashion world being in the commercial world um, but at the same time, I work with a lot of, I hate calling them plus size models. I work with a lot of real women, curvy models. Um, and I show them, I show my daughter those pictures as much as I show her any others. I'm also lucky in the sense that I have access to some unretouched pictures. So I can show her, you know, as she grows up, what really happens to these images. Um, That's, not only is that not a realistic image of women in general, it's not a realistic image of the actual model that was here. I think one of the most troubling things I'm seeing about the shoot is that people are saying that showing pictures like this is telling women it's okay to be unhealthy, it's okay to be quote unquote fat. And I think it's the exact opposite. We're not, we're not pushing for an unhealthy body. We're not pushing for obesity. Those are two completely different issues. There's an issue of obesity and being unhealthy and there's an issue of being healthy in your skin and not trying to be as skinny as possible. In the feeling, being comfortable with your, in your own skin, you, all you needed was the jewelry and shoes. I mean, they, they, the jewelry was kind of larger than life. And that's, she, Katya had made a statement while we were shooting saying that she felt fully clothed. I mean, she was that comfortable in her own skin that with the, the jewelry, she, she felt she felt like she was fully clothed. She, she, she was ready to just strut around the studio. And I think that was really important to us as a team that kind of made us all sit back and say, you know what, we've accomplished what we set out to accomplish. I, I love curves and I, I embrace curves. And as a stylist, it's actually a little challenging because most sample sizes come in a size two or four. Largest percent of women are plus size and are a size you know, 12 or 14 or above. And that is actually the smallest segment to be carried in stores. Um, so these women that are looking at these magazines and they want these fashionable clothes are going into stores and they're just not available. It's trying to find things in that size that are fashionable and that aren't frumpy and don't make you look like you know an old lady, it's, it's really, really difficult. But I think a lot of times if you ask men what they think is really sexy and attractive, they still go for that Marilyn Monroe body. Um, why the fashion industry hasn't caught up to that, I'm not quite sure. But I, I personally, I, it's an issue that I really 100% stand behind. I was grew up with the idea that I am not enough skinny to be fat, ugly. And I always ask myself, why people so unfair with me, like a teenager? Why they are doing this with me? 
why they are so judge me. I am always eat healthy food. I take care about myself. I do yoga a lot. I am exercising. I love kite surfing. I know who I am. I am a very happy woman and I am very confident about my body. And I am very proud of shoot what we did. Because people start conversation about this. And this is the most important things ever. I have to say thanks to team who was due to that shot. Because it was so amazing energy. It was so amazing and talented job. I want to say thank you to photographer Victoria. I want to say thank you to makeup artist Julia. I want to say thank you to hair stylist Jen. I want to say thank you to styling Jackie. I want to say huge thank you to editor Madeline, who was right, very right article about these pictures. I want to say thank you to Lynn, who is executive director of Plus Model magazine. I want to say huge thank you to Plus Model magazine, who was published that pictures. And I want to say thank you, people, for comments, for everything what you did for us right now. And I want to say thank you for energy because this is the amazing time right now.